Okay, today we're going to go over hauling and lifting your e-bike. In this case, it's an electric e-bike, the uh, the 2.0 version. It folds, so that's the main thing with this. I want to show you what I have and how I'm going to make this easier. Because uh, these things are upwards of 75 pounds. And like I said, they have the lighter one now. That's not as bad, but if you have the 75 pound one, it's, it's pretty hefty to have to get it up here and put it into your truck bed so i'm going to go over this i have a craftsman 50 gallon sometimes people say they can use a 49 gallon but i found this 50 gallon works really good and i don't use my top some people have taken their tops and cut out the edges where they actually have an edge around the whole thing but i haven't done that with mine so take that part there and uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to fold that up and we're going to put it inside of our inside of here. And what we've did is we've gone to Harbor Freight and we picked up this single ramp here. I think this was, I want to say it was at $60. Got a coupon and I got it a little bit cheaper, but it's a single ramp. So what we're going to do is put it in here, put our ramp on the back and just push it push it right on there on, on there without having to lift this up now I will have to take the bike and lift it the distance from the ground into this crate but that's not as bad as having to try to get to the back of your truck some of you may have seen the video where I show you how I fold my e-bike I'm not going to get into too many details today about how I fold it I got my pedals in the right position so I'm going to go ahead and fold this and get it in here but uh, if you want to check out that video and how I fold pedals make it easier then I have two videos out for that You'll notice that I did go ahead I do put it on this end down here on this end where the, the wheels are and uh, I just the way I've kind of it works out good for me kind of gives this thing here a space to go and that pedal sits up on there so that's the way I set this up now sometimes I lay this handlebars down sometimes I don't so it just depends on if I think I'm gonna put the cover on it so what I also want to do is I save some of the foamy material and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here between here just to make sure that it doesn't chafe because this I leave this kind of let this free flowing I do put a tie strap around it I'll show you how I do that but uh, this way it keeps it chafing also you want to put something right here between your seat and this part because if you already noticed I already got a little bit of rip in the seat so I got the ramp hooked up here now a lot of people won't have the setup like I do with the ridge line where this opens up like it does but even if you did you'd use that at the end of your tailgate flip down I'm just going to use that because it gives me a little bit of an edge to put that on but anyway put the thing like this we're going to push it right up the ramp right into the back So the key to that was that I kept the wheels on both sides that way it wouldn't flop one way or the other and you have to kind of lift it a little bit here at the beginning because if you notice it's kind of it's not level it's a little bold so you got to lift it up on here a little bit give it a good little shove should shove right on 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 up uh, it's, is it hard yeah it's a little bit not as bad as having to power lift that that uh bike up into the back of the bed so that's what i had to do before and then coming down is going to be pretty much the same way i'm going to use tie straps here to tie it from a side around 
this unit here I'll show you here how I do that in a minute and then I'll just have to disconnect that slide it back down and take it slow bring it on down and I'm gonna bring this ramp with me so I'll show you what it's like when I get it all tied up so there it's all done basically got to take and I tie off I tie off the the uh, tub to where it goes into this handle and it goes down and around the actual tub over to the other side makes this good and sturdy you get a little bit of flop in this but again that's why I got some padding here in between we're getting any kind of chafing a lot of times I put my cover in here and I'll put the cover on if I don't think it's gonna rain in this case I just tucked it down inside used it for some more padding and I'm just gonna leave that in that way I can cover the bike at night to keep the dew down and then my ramp I just set right here in the front you know, I've got some more chairs and stuff to sit in here so that's gonna keep that from moving around so I think that's gonna help out make it easier <clears throat> like I say if you've got the the electric light probably wouldn't even bother with this because that I think they weigh about 45 pounds not quite as bad on your back but this definitely helps out for the 65 pounds 70 pounds that you're dealing with with the uh, 2.0 now I'm going to show you another way that I do this. It's this, uh, if I put it in the crate normally, that's for long range trips. If I'm going to go, I don't know, just out of town and to another town and bike there. But if I'm going to bike in town, I'm only going, I don't know, five or six miles. I'll do this other method. And I've shown this in one of my videos before where I strap it to the side pillar here. And I just, it's good and sturdy and uh so this will be the way i bring this down and like I say the ridge line you can bring it down like this or you can bring it down off the side here which is the way i'm going to bring it down so i'm going to put the ramp up here and uh like i say i'm going to show you how i get this on without the crate using the uh throttle on the actual e-bike and then bring it down using the brakes so let me show you that now so to put that in there i showed you how i did my ramp before but we're getting ready to put this on so what i gotta do first is uh get the key in there so you put your key in your bike turn it on the on position right there you see i've got it in pas1 and i'm gonna take this and use my throttle to get it up into the truck bed put my hand left hand on the seat right hand on the throttle you want to get it as straight as you can hit your throttle just lightly make sure you stay in the center of your tracks slide a little bit it's okay when you get to the top you just kind of and again this is tricky coming back because you gotta take your kickstand off kind of back it back take it slow using your hand on the back tire and I'm not sure if my camera's going to catch this, but I'm catching the back, the front brake pedal. Front brake, and letting it off slowly. Just using the brake to bring it down slow. And then you're down. So in conclusion, like I say, you can use that crate. Probably the safest way to doing this. And if you don't want to deal with the crate, you can do it this way. I just did it. A little trickier. It's potential for this falling off this ramp is probably a lot better by doing it this way than doing it with the crate. So it's if it's whatever you feel comfortable with. So again, if you can do it with two people, it's easier. But again, that's why we got this ramp so we can do it with one person. So it's just another option. And that's about all I have. And if uh, you have any other comments about the way I put this on the truck, you have another way of doing it, just let us know in the comments. And uh, we'll see another another one of these videos.